Tonight, outrage is brewing over a state board of education member's comments on social media, some calling the statements homophobic and racist. But there are also questions tonight over how Natalie J. Klein obtained information from a Utah Pride Center conference. Fox 13's Lauren Steinbrecher is live right in front of the state board of education office with details Fox 13 News is the first to release tonight. Lauren. Right, Kelly and Bob. So we have confirmed tonight with the Utah Pride Center that they believe that Natalie Klein signed up for their conference over a week ago. However, they also believe she used a fake name and pretended to be a student, then gained access to the materials and subsequently blasted those materials on social media. An elected state official is officially at the center of a controversy across the state after Natalie J. Klein posted this on her State Board of Education Facebook page over the weekend, a link to a private video with the caption, Murray Educators presented last Saturday at the Utah Pride Center Conference for Educators. Learn more about what they're doing to indoctrinate your children here. Our conference was open to all well, we invited as many people as we could to come and be part of the discussion, to listen to a variety of different experts and on a variety of different topics. The Utah Pride Center conference just over a week ago focused on how schools can create a more inclusive environment, which is why the center found the comments from the elected state education leader concerning. It's going to be reinforced that they are somehow other that they're just different, that we don't really feel that you belong or your identities belong in the school system. The comments plus other posts from Klein that target race and gender led to an outcry, including from Black Lives Matter and an unusually large number of calls and emails to the State Board of Education Monday that they said were both in opposition and support and a petition to remove Klein from office, which, by the way, legally can't happen unless Klein is impeached. But one thing that initially confused the Utah Pride Center, how Klein got access to the video she shared. Natalie Klein didn't sign up for the conference, at least not under her name, they say. So the only way she was able to gain access was by signing up under a false name. In looking through the records, conference organizer Amanda Darrow found someone signed up under a Natalie Klein email account, but then changed their email and name to Jean Robison. According to records that we found, that's Natalie Klein's middle and maiden name. This person also signed up for the conference as a 15-year-old student, Darrow says, and gave a Murray address we found used to be tied to Klein. So they came into our website and pretended to be someone. Darrow also says since Klein's post, a number of people have tried to sign up after the fact, using the name Stop Indoctrinating Our Children. The Utah Pride Center says... Ultimately, they hope to talk with Klein one-on-one. -on -one. I believe that that really is an important part of this next set, next set of steps. I think we need to create a space where some understanding is shared. Now, uh, we did receive a statement from the Utah State Board of Education really addressing that petition, saying they don't have the authority to remove a board member from their seat. I did also reach out to Klein through phone as well as email, did not hear back. But Klein did post on Facebook over the weekend that uh, the mob has come out against her and she urged people to reach out to the board in support of her. Live in Salt Lake City, Lauren Steinbrecher, Fox 13 News, Utah.